to join me for the next part four, I think it is, of this um, braid, wonderful treasure box of vintage jewellery. I am so chuffed with this lot. Um, you're talking to little Mrs. Century here, um, lover of all things vintage, um, a creator of modern jewellery as well, um, acrylic jewellery um, and eccentric jewellery, hence the name, little Mrs. Eccentric. But I am a collector, a buyer, and a reseller of vintage jewellery and vintage treasures of others as well. So where I'm just picking up where I left off, um, I just sorted out those, these earrings to make the process of doing this video faster with you. So we have a lovely clip-on pair of um, faux pearl drop earrings. I know there's people that love collecting the vintage earrings. Little Miss Eccentric not so much. She's more into the brooches and pretty bangles and unusual items. That's one a lot of neckbay um, earrings just to say. Um, I'll just make a kind of pair there. Um, okay, so here, uh, actually here we have a, 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 a lovely little bow brooch. Um, this one's actually got a stamp on it, um, which, as little Mrs. Centric always does, she never brings her jewels loop to the table. It's got a stamp on there of some kind. It could actually say Sterling 925. I think it could be marker side as well. It's a nice little brooch. I just unboxed, if you love um, brooches, I just unboxed a whole lot of brooches, which was fun to go through. Some nice pieces, including a Sarah Coventry piece. But you have to see that video to check it out. Here's a lovely pair of green screw on earrings. Green is Little Miss Centric's favourite colour. You can see the screw ons. So lovely little earrings we have here. Very nice. Tiny little brooch. In actual fact, um, it hasn't actually got a, a pin on, it's got a pin on the back that hasn't actually got a clasp for it to click onto, so I don't know if that's broken or, or this is part of something else, I'm not sure. That's not that wonderful anyway. And we've got another pair of um, all these pretty for these. Stain and zirconia earrings. I really have to get my jewels loop out to test um, again, but uh, it's ran out of battery. I left it on Monday and forgot to turn it off and went to use it and ran out of battery. So I've got to go and to the shop and get new battery and I keep forgetting to do it. But um, for those that um, didn't know, something that was actually taught to me by an uh, antique jewellery dealer recently is that you can actually test gemstones with a um, diamond tester and it doesn't beep in that case, it actually lights up a certain um, colour to indicate that it could be potential gems. That was a nice little pair like that. Little screens. Nice. Uh, we have cufflinks here. Um, it's got writing on it of some kind. I can't quite make it out. Something for the men. And then we have another little brooch. No, it's not. Sorry, I beg my pardon. It's actually a um, clip-on. Missing its other half. Here we have, actually, I think this is it here. Here we have a pair of faux pearl screw on earrings again. The faux, faux pearl. Lovely. I really wish that I was born days gone by, I think it was more suited to my things I would like wearing and things like that. We have two earrings here, I think um, they're both um, screw on, but I don't think they're actual um, pop out set to each other, pop up here, it's in different size. 
here, one's bigger than the other one. Maybe I just mismatched the last slot. You know, more, more um, screw on earrings. Well, there you go. I was thinking, gee, that looks like a, sort of like a turtle, or oh, turtle, snail kind of shell. You know, look at the back of it. So it's different. It's come off something. Another pair of um, screw-on earrings. I've done pretty well with screw-on earrings. Usually, lots of clip-on earrings come. I like finding the screw-on screw -on ones. Just nicer. And a pair of clip-on. These look like crystals. Crystal pair. Colours going through it. And coupons. Very nice. And we have another pair of screw on earrings. There we go. Pretty. And we have a single at the moment, single earring clip on. Anyway, that's enough of the earrings, I think. Um, we'll just open this bag. It's just a never-ending supply. I'm just really so chuffed with this um, mystery box of vintage treasures. Really, really beautiful stuff. And oh my goodness, what I just saw. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I thought that's gonna save to last. That's pretty cool. That's got my heart beating. As possibly this has too, I'm not sure. I'll check out in a minute what that is. Oh, okay. I live and breathe vintage, I just love it. Okay, here's just a simple, well, I wouldn't say necessarily simple, but here's a necklace. Um, I'll probably put this in the costume bundle. It's not really up in my alley. Um, I wouldn't say that's, I'd say it's more 80s style so necklace. So I'll just put it over in a different bundle. Um, so here we have a vintage necklace. Look at this, see? If it's going to unwind, yes. Lovely vintage. That's one indication that you know you've got a vintage necklace. Okay, I'm just winding it back on. We have some old um, beads, and they could be authentic. Is that Murano beads they call them? Not sure. Lovely pair, lovely necklace. Okay, then we have a simple dainty necklace. So just continuing on from the earring section, um, my video just cut off on me and I was talking away and then I realised that, oh dear, I wasn't recording. So I guess that's something that Little Miss Century does go over your head and <laughs> doesn't realise that she's actually talking to herself. So here we have, in this video, um, just a faux pearl necklace. Um, nothing that makes my heart beat at all. Um, different, but just looking at the modern clasp, it doesn't sort of like excite me at all, really. Um, nice little flower with a pendant there. I'll probably put that in a costume lot of jewellery. And then we have um, this necklace here, it's a bit of a tangled mess. Um, Bit of beadwork, lamp work, or whatever it is. Um, as I said, it's tangled. I haven't got time to actually um, rock it at the moment. That's a nice little necklace, anyway. Um, I keep getting necklaces. I keep getting more necklaces. But sometimes they're really, really nice ones, too. Here's a lovely old uh, necklace here, right here. And see this clasp? Again. These are nice old, um, I'm not sure, is this what you call Marina? Marana, Marana, or whatever I'm work. <laughs> Probably saying it completely wrong. Um, nice beads anyway. Don't forget, all this goes up on my website, littlemisscentric.com.au, and also on the marketplace. And you can also find me on the Facebook group. Come and join us there. 
Facebook group and page and will be sentry. And then we have this lovely yellow crystal like um, beads here. That's a nice, I'm actually quite happy with this lot. I'm not sure if it's crystals or something else, but I like it. I like the look of it. It's got a vintage vibe to it. It's pretty. And then we have a necklace. A dainty little necklace. Um, full of rhinestones with an older style glass. And then finally, this will make me really look at this one. And I'd love to find the out if this is actually crystal or not. Oh, here we have, okay, I've just found the clasp to it. I'm not sure of age, but we have a lovely um, crystal like tangled a bit necklace. But just love to show you the beads in this. First look, I thought it might be crystal. By no means a crystal expert at all. It's um, shining some light through it, but not, not a lot of colours, which I believe is what crystals, genuine crystals do. But it's actually a really nice necklace, and maybe if I can actually get a photo of it when I cut this video, and I can up it, upload it onto the, when I'm editing it, and show you what this is actually like. But, yeah, it's just, it's just sort of glimmering in the light a bit there. It's actually, Quite a nice piece of jewelry, so it's got me quite excited. Anyway, you know the drill. Please like and subscribe and continue watching my unboxing as this is going to be one of the longest <laughs> unboxing yet. I've just absolutely um, chuffed with what's in here um, from the straight from the estate and just bundles of beautiful jewelry. So stay tuned, I'll see you soon. Continuing on, we have one last bag to get through with more fab watches. My goodness, look at this one. This dear lady was certainly a collector of watches. She has had so many wonderful watches in this lot. It's just amazing. Little Mrs. Fitchy thought she had brooches coming out of her ears. Now she's got brooches and fans coming out of her ears. Some lovely watches. Interesting face on that one. But it's only made in China and Japanese movement. We'll look into that further.